I'm Kenny Lawson, Vice President for Instruction at Skagit Valley College. I'm going to read a passage from George Orwell's 1984. Since about that time, war had been literally continuous, though strictly speaking, it had always been the same war. For several months during his childhood, there had been confused street fighting in London itself, some of which he remembered vividly. But to trace out the history of the whole period, to say who was fighting whom at any given moment, would have been utterly impossible that was, that was over, since no written record and no spoken word ever made mention of any other alignment than the existing one. At this moment, for example, in 1984, <laughs> if it was 1984, Oceania, Oceania was at war with Eurasia and an alliance with East Asia. In no public or private utterance was it ever admitted that the three powers had at any time been grouped along different lines. Actually, as Winston well knew, it was only four years since Oceania had been at war with East Asia in an alliance with Eurasia. But that was merely a piece of furtive knowledge which he happened to possess because he had his memory was not satisfactorily under control. Officially, the change of the partners had never happened. Oceania, Oceania um, was at war with Eurasia. Therefore, Oceania had always been at war with Eurasia. The enemy of the moment always presented absolute evil, and it followed that any past or future agreement with him was impossible. The party said that Oceania had never been in alliance with Eurasia. He, Winston Smith, knew that Oceania had been in alliance with Eurasia at as short a time as four years ago. But where did that knowledge exist? Only in his own consciousness, which in any case must soon be annihilated. And if all others accepted the lie which the party imposed, if all records were told the same tale, then the lie passed into history and became truth. Who controls the past, ran the party slogan, controls the future. Who controls the present, controls the past. And yet the past, through, or though of its nature unalterable, never had been altered. Whatever was true now was true from everlasting to everlasting. It was quite simple. All that was needed was an unending series of victories over your own memory. Reality control, they called it, in newspeak, double thing.